on today's ProPresenter show brought to you by ChurchTechU.com, how to set up the Alpha Key module and its hardware. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where every week I teach you how to use Renewed Vision's worship software, ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. If you'd like to quickly and easily do everything that ProPresenter can do, this is the place to do it with 215... Oops... Now it's 216 ProPresenter tutorials. This is the most complete resource for ProPresenter users. So make sure you subscribe so you can learn every bit about this awesome software. Oh, and don't forget to click the little bell icon too. That way you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. The Alpha Key module is, in some ways, pretty intimidating. The module itself costs right at $1,000, and depending on which you buy, the hardware could set your church back about that same amount, too. So, what if you can't figure it out? Have you wasted nearly two grand of your church's resources? Don't worry, it's actually not that hard to set up. So, let's head over to my church and take a look. When you're using the Alpha Key module, the very first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have the appropriate hardware connected. And so, I have the Ultra Studio 4K, as you can see by my screen here, and as you can see I have Apple's Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. If I was using the Ultra Studio HD I could go directly with uh, Thunderbolt 3 but I'm not. So and then on the back here I have that connected to this second input. Now I don't know I didn't have any luck with this other cable and the first input so it could be that it's the wrong input or it could be that it's the wrong cable I don't know which uh, also you will need to connect BNC cables out two of them one for the key and uh, the alpha channel and one for the the regular output and those connect into your video switcher but I'm not going to show you that that's a different video hopefully I can have a video switcher to set that up sometime in the future but you'll notice that over here I have SDI and Im embed embed doesn't matter all that much since we're not dealing with audio but uh, on the screen you see the output of ProPresenter. Now let me show you how I got that. Over here in Preferences, let's go to um, HDSDI. When you first fire this up, and by all means, please demo this during the week because it will put the watermark on. See, there's the watermark. It will put that on there. So you want to demo it. Make sure that you've got this figured out before you buy it because Renewed Vision doesn't offer refunds on the modules. So uh, go ahead, demo this, click on the HDSDI, then you need to select the output device. If you were sending it in NDI, NDI1 would work. If you are using hardware, in this case I'm using the Ultra Studio 4K, you want to select that. That's what I've done. Mode is um, the resolution and frame rate audio in this case it doesn't matter because I'm not worried about sending audio but uh, you could either get the audio from the device or from the system the system being the computer next we have alpha key settings external key is what you want to do if you're sending this to a video switcher blend what blend does is if it's all the way to the left everything is transparent if it's all the way to the right the part that is not keyed out 
is in this case the text would not be transparent it would be opaque so you do have the ability to tweak that ever so slightly uh, ignore background colors tells it to ignore this black pretty simple so it's um, actually fairly simple once you have all that installed I will say that as I was prepping this this desktop video software which you absolutely need to have installed on your computer for the hardware to work wasn't seeing it until I switched the inputs but once I got that uh, sorted out then this is as I need it the uh, input is set to what I need it to be and uh, so that's how you use the alpha key module in ProPresenter 6. Well there you go it's only three cables Thunderbolt 2 or 3 depending on your computer 2B and C cables. That's it. Once the computer sees it you tweak a couple of settings in the SDI module and preferences and you're good to go. If you like this tutorial make sure you sign up for the Pro 6 hardware mini course located at tdm.fyi slash pro the number 6 hardware mini m-i-n-i this video is part of the full Pro 6 hardware course along with videos on using the alpha key module and multi-screen modules together videos on choosing the right computer for ProPresenter and many others until next time this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com go out and change eternity I'd like to Okay, that's going to be in the bloopers. I don't do that. Okay. Okay, I'm calling that good, except it should have been multi-screen module. Why don't I do that last segment again? I think that's the best one yet.